find yourself saying the same thing over and over again. At some point, you become agitated, you raise your voice, and sometimes you have to really raise your voice for them to start responding. And you ask yourself, why, why is it they're in the room with me and it's as if they're not hearing me? And that's where the physiology, or the neurophysiology in this case, helps us a lot with our parenting. Let's look at the, pre the prefrontal cortex, the front of the brain. The front of the brain needs three types of petrol to work for us to maintain external focus, process information, avoid distraction, etc. It needs oxygen, it needs dopamine, it needs a fast enough um, EEG electrical activity, which, which is called the beta frequency. What we find um, many times in ADD and ADHD brains is that rather than having enough beta to sustain attention, they have a much slower frequency that is dominant there, which is called the theta frequency. And what theta does when it's in the, at the front of the brain is it takes us into our heads. When you talk to a child with the brain that is flooded with theta, with frontal theta, and you said something, let's say for 10 times, consider the first nine as if you talk to them and they were in a, in a different room. Would you get upset if they are in a completely separate room to you and you talk to them and don't respond? Obviously not. 